Hey guys, what's up? So in the last video, I talked about st string slicing. In this video, I'm gonna talk about lists, okay? Lists of things and what the heck are lists. Lists are awesome. However, um, in the last video, I left you guys with a question. I said, take this, pro uh, take this right, and parse it, and basically Xbox 360, pull that out, save it in a variable like product, pull this out, save it in a variable like price, and save this in a variable like condition, right? So when you have your Excel sheet open, it looks really nice. It'll look like this. Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm in my solution, I'm gonna do it in a <clears throat> different way because if you try to use it as index, this is the solution. So you can pause the video, think about how it works. Uh, that's how you'll pull the 150 and using the same logic, you'll pull new, however, Index is a very ugly method to use for getting parsing the string. What I want to show you guys is this method called find. Okay, that's a very nice method. So like, let's say we take the data, right? And I do data.find. And find, it shows you at the bottom what it takes in as the function. It takes in um, the substring, and then it takes in optional arguments like start and end. So I'm gonna say, data.find and I'll give it a substring pipe. Uh, what a substring means is that that's something that exists in the original string, string, okay? So for example, um, I have to give find, the function find or the method find, I have to give it something that exists within this. If I gave it something that doesn't exist within it, like banana, it would say negative one, like, I didn't find anything. But if I gave it a pipe, you can see that it finds a nine. And another thing you can give it is how you saw, <clears throat> is you can give it where to start from, okay? So I can say, like for example, start looking after 10, or hold up, or look for pipe, but I want you to start at string nine, okay? or I want you to start at string 10, all right? And now it finds a pipe at location 15. So if I do data, and if you count it up, you'll see that this is the pipe, and it is at indeed location 15. If I do data 15, you'll see that it gives you back that pipe, right? <clears throat> okay, so by getting that second pipe, now, you can get the value in between the first pipe and the second pipe by saying something like um, start from finding the first pipe and then go up to finding the second pipe, right? So I can say finding or start from uh, or look for pipe and then start from 10, for example right and this gives you this guy here and just to make sure we don't include the pipe in the first one we can just say start from plus one of that okay so that gives you in between the first and second pipe you get back 150. okay so the reason why i went even more in depth in strings even in the video called lists is because a lot of what you learn from strings is applicable to lists okay so let's take a list and call it groceries and I will have apple, and I foreshadowed this for you guys a little bit, banana, and it can also have integers, though usually you try to put the same kind of thing in the list. Um, but sure, let's put uh, five in there and six in there and then oranges or something, okay? Cool. Now, if I wanna take this list and I wanna get the first element and the second element, if it was just a string, Right? Like the reason why lists are useful is because you can use it to store multiple variables. Like for example, if you wanted to use variables to store this, uh, it would be a little, um, it would be weird because you will say groceries zero is equal to apple. You would say groceries of one are banana and so then when you do groceries of zero you get back apple and when you do groceries of 
one, you get back banana, but let's make it, make that thing for you in a really easy way, okay? So now if I do groceries, and if I do groceries of zero, I get back apple, okay? And if I do groceries of one, I get back banana because uh, apple is in the zeroth position, banana is in the first position, this is in the second, third, fourth position, okay? So gro let's make it really nice for you. Imagine if um, you were trying to store a data for a race, so like four of your friends ran really fast and you wanted to record who came first, who came second. So you can say race is equal to uh, like John came first and then Bob came second and then, you know, whatever, like Timothy came in third. Uh, Timothy is pretty slow. <laughs> so we can say like, okay, who came in first? We can ask that question. We get back John. We can say who came in second. We get back Bob. And I can say who came in third. Or I can say who came in last. Like negative one gets you the last element. And this answers all my questions. So just like how we were able to slice strings, we're able to slice lists, okay? But notice, lists is nicer for elements. So for example, uh, Xbox 360 and all this stuff, I'll show you guys a really cool trick you can do with lists to break that up into pieces. So like for example, if I gave you a string like this, right? what is going on notice that there are a lot of spaces in between right let's just replace those spaces just so it's vi more visual let's replace those spaces with that and let's say we want to get the what part separately is part separately going part separately and on part separately without having any of the dashes in the middle there's a method we can use called dot split okay and we can pass to dot split what we want to split by. So I can say something like this. I want to split by the dashes, okay? So check it out. Now I got what is going on, right? This is a list of strings. Now the data complexity is getting a little bit higher, right? It's a list containing strings inside of it. Okay, so I can call this like, um, you know, greeting or something doesn't matter and if I do greeting I can say what's the first word of greeting what's the second one word whoops greeting right what's the second word and for example I can say what's the last word and it'll give me what is going on on being the last word right now, I can also do string slicing just like how I can do in strings. So I have start, I have stop, and I have step. So if I take the race one again, I can say go from zero all the way to the end. I can say the same way like this. This is like optional, right? Zero, it starts from zero and it ends at zero or ends at the last one by default. If I want to get from John to Bob, I can say like, give me the first two uh, race, like first two contestants of the race, and it'll give me John and Bob. Uh, or I'll say, give me everybody but the last guy. So I can ask that question to my list just like that. Okay, now to answer your guys' question of how to reverse a string, it's the same way you can reverse the list as well. So. Let me show you guys. There are a couple of different ways, but I'm gonna show you guys the nicest, the fanciest way, okay? So uh, let's take this list and I wanna step by, uh, or sorry, I wanna start at the default, which is zero, okay? I don't have to write it zero, but I'll just write it for you guys. I want to go all the way to the end and I don't have to write this, okay? So I'll just leave it blank here. And for the last part, uh, first step, instead of saying step by one, which, which will just give me the whole thing, and instead, or st instead of saying give me every other element, so like give me John and then Timothy, I will say step by negative one. So check this out. 
um, let's remove this right and let's remove that guy and let's do that and you will see how it steps right it just reversed the list if we have the the same string like let's say we have data I can do the same way and reverse everything in data so you can see Xbox 360 and new and 150 are all written backwards okay so that's how you would like reverse something now I want to talk about uh, split again and I want to talk about um, one very important method called append for a list one of the most common used things that any programmer does in any language okay so split is like Java C's everybody uses that it might not be called split and then same thing in Python everybody uses split and the next method I'm about to show you a pen very common for all the games you make for everything that you do it's gonna be like one of the most common things you use especially a pen so pay attention so I'm gonna show you uh, the method called uh, the split okay so I've shown you a little bit of that already so let's say I take um, data and I want to break it up right product price condition very easy way to do it very easy way to do it split so let's do data dot split and I want to say split by pipe boom look at that how nice is that right it automatically just split it by that and you can store that in details or something and now if I do details of zero right and I can set that equal to product so now if I do product I get that I can say price is equal to details of one and I can say condition is equal to details of two okay price condition boom okay so that was like some really nice ways to get this done in the next video i will talk about append so stay tuned